Source. Welcome to the Demon School, Iruma Khan. Hey guys, and I'm Shark here with another interesting video. Please like, share, and subscribe for such quality content. After the vacations are finally over, the students of the Babel's Demon School finally return to their classes for another exciting semester. Iruma knows that he can't afford to stand out among his peers as he is the only human in the entire school of demons. However, after the students of the Misfit class managed to take down a magical beast that showed up at the amusement park, they become very popular. Aruma is surprised to see that they are enjoying all the attention they are getting. After they are all together, the Misfit class that is now considered the heroes of the Netherworld waves in front of a huge crowd of admirers for their amusement. Elego informs the Misfit class that the Harvest Festival and Musical Festival are coming up and that to keep the privilege of using the Special Classroom Royal One, they will have to reach rank Dalit before becoming a second-year student. O has invited personal tutors for them, which were seen in the Anang for the very first time. After that, all the new instructors came and asked if the class was over now, and then all the students went with their respective instructors. A Mary reminisces about her date with Aruma, but is upset she did not manage to see him before school started. She is further disappointed when, due to his lessons with Bals, Aruma is forced to cancel their reading of First Love Memories, but she accepts it as necessary. He informs them that he won't be training them for now. Instead of him, the responsibility of helping Aruma. Unlike Bals, Barbatos is violent and cruel. The only reason she decides to help them with their training is that she was personally asked by Sullivan. In Bachiko's personal staff room, Aruma and Lyde are forced by her to wear soft and fluffy feminine dresses and are made to sweep the floor while sporting them. As if these tasks were already not bad enough, she tells her students to get the fruity ground dragon, two gigantic strawberries hanging around the ears of a monstrous pig. When Iruma and Lai finally see the beast they are supposed to tame, they wish to run away. However, they gather all their courage and fight until they manage to get the strawberries. But by the time they return to Bachiko's office, she has already had her lunch. So all of their efforts just go in vain. The following day, she continues to make ridiculous demands that have nothing to do with training, and by the end of the day, Light has had enough. He tells Aruma that she has taught nothing of value to them so far, so he will just go and ask Robin for his guidance. However, Aruma still feels that Bachiko may have something up her sleeve, and decides to stay with her, even when his friend leaves. After Robin leaves, Bachiko comes to assess Aruma's work, and after observing everything, argues that someone who is working so hard for the sake of somebody else without expecting anything in return must be an idiot. Her comments leave Aruma dumbfounded, and he can't shrug it off even after returning home later that evening. When he goes to bed, sleep continues to elude him. Aruma eventually ends up shouting in frustration as his patience finally runs out. He decides to call Alice as he can't sleep and is shocked to learn that he is still busy with his training. He is very excited to share his progress with Aruma. When the titular protagonist tries to contact Clara, he finds out that she is also still busy with her special tutor. Later the misfits discuss their hellish training. Goman and Picero reveal Vapar submerges them so they almost drown. Bal's forces lied to play video games without sleep to increase concentration. Asmodeus and Sabnok battle Balam constantly and have many injuries. Jazz and Elosa are missing after Furfur took them somewhere mysterious. Clara and Elisabetta strike sexy poses for hours in Krosal, and Kamui are forced into cages with their summoned creatures. The following day, Bachiko waits for Iruma's arrival so that she can make him do all kinds of daily chores. Since he is late, her frustration grows by every minute, but when Sullivan comes to meet her, Bachiko's demeanor changes immediately. When he asks her about Iruma's training, she suddenly realizes that it has not even begun so far. After realizing that Sullivan has put so much trust in her, Bachiko decides to spring into action to give Aruma the training he needs. She meets her soon afterward and tells the young boy that they need to get him a new weapon. Although Aruma is genuinely excited, Bachiko first decides to discuss her background with him. She begins by admitting that she completely forgot about his training which shocks Iruma, who thought that she was making him do all the daily chores for some purpose. Bachiko argues that training is a waste of time anyway, and she could only teach him one thing. It turns out that although Robin and Bachiko are relatives, he is actually from the Branch family 
while she comes from the main family. However, they have more or less the same power. She reveals herself to be the wing eater of despair and an undead archer, who is capable of killing 100 victims with her 100 simultaneous shots. Bachiko explains that the 100 shots, 100 kills power is an evolved ability of the Barbados family that is only mastered by the president and the chief apart from her. Bachiko educates her student that an archer can turn the tables in any battle, but most demons lack the focus and the dedication to become good at archery. She then takes Aruma to the Babel's magic apparatus battler to get him his new weapon. Although Bachiko has not directly said it, she did hint at teaching him the only thing she knows, which turns out to be archery. So, it is highly likely that she would be helping Aruma learn all there is to know about it, and it would be interesting to what degree he will be able to master it.